Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to Xbox Beyond the Box. I'm your host, Dragon Dust. Tonight, we're shining our spotlight on the section of free-to-play games, Star Trek Online Escalation. So, grab yourself a cold one, prop your feet up, and get ready as we take a look at Star Trek Online Escalation and what makes this game so great and why you might want to play it. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, let me start off by saying, if you're a Star Trek fan, then this is the game you've been waiting for. This game has different factions such as Klingon, Romulan, uh, Starfleet, and each with their own little story arc. Now, I'm not going to get into details of what your story arc is. You know, I want you to be able to play the game and enjoy that for yourself. I'm not doing spoilers here. Now, create a character mode, really great. Uh, being able to adjust the height of your character, uh, different hairstyles, makeup, I mean, all the choices are there. Now, I will say, you know, as far as bad points, a little heavy on the microtransactions, but they do have package deals, so that kind of evens things out. You know, and um, a lot of great choices. They don't have crappy items on here. Cool starships, I mean, just absolutely amazing. I didn't want to show those off. I want you to be able to play the game and see that for yourself as well. But I've got to be honest, you know, the only thing, you know, as far as bad points is there's not a lot of choice. I mean, this is not like Knights of the Old Republic where each choice, you know, determines the fate of the galaxy type deal. You know, it definitely could use that. So the makers of this game, please listen. You know, you definitely need more in the way of choice when it comes to this game. But I also understand that Star Trek is a very linear type deal because it's got a very set universe too. Now, for those of you who have ever fantasized about being the captain of your own starship, please play this game. I mean, this is where it sets everything apart. Weapons are amazing. Um, whether it be space mines, photon torpedoes, uh, lasers, cannons, you name it, it's there. The space battles are freaking amazing. I should have got some footage of that. You know, I'm sorry. But I really want you to play the game and see it for yourself. See how amazing it is. And with that being said, we're going to move on to what you know would be my wish list uh, coming up next. So, Star Trek fans, let's take a look at my wish list. The number one thing on my wish list is I wish they had given the main character a voice. I mean, when you look at Bioware's um, Star Wars game, you know, that they have, um, uh, Swotor, or whatever they call it, the main character has a voice. Next, we want to follow up with choices. There needs to be conversation choices. It is so linear that it becomes boring at times. I would love to be a smartass on a Starfleet vessel. I would love to tell, you know, certain brass, you know, what I think of them, or just outright tell them to kiss my ass on certain missions. You know, it's hard to be Captain Kirk when you ain't got no voice. One of the things that made Kirk great was he, he was an asshole when he felt like it. And that's one of the downsides to this game. You can't truly be an asshole. You know, let's face it, Star Wars has them beat. If you want to be a Sith and you want to be an asshole, you can. You want to be a Jedi and be an asshole, you still can. The next thing that is kind of a little bit of a bother is they're kind of heavy on microtransactions. You know, they need to lighten up on that just a little bit. Now, I understand they've got to make their money because they do give us free episodes. If they put a faction on here, it's for free. And, you know, but some of the things that they're selling, you know, is a little pricey, you know, for any game. So, you know, cut back on the price. You know, remember, we've been hit by four hurricanes. Or, I don't, I don't know, Nate would probably be a half hurricane. Came in at uh, Hurricane Status 1, though people that are being flooded would disagree with me. But nonetheless, we need to kind of cut back on the price. Give us a break. I mean, hell, Christmas is coming up. Yeah, I know, that's a lame excuse. But still, that's the only real complaints I have about this game. Everything else is awesome. Space battles, gun battles, storyline, all of it freaking awesome. The items, the ships, everything is just, you know, if you'll excuse the language, fucking amazing. You know, I highly recommend this game. It's free to play. Hell, what do you got to lose? If you don't like it, you remove it from your Xbox, you move on. No money charged. But I would definitely recommend, you know, playing it for a while. Enjoy the space battles. Co-op is amazing on here. You know, hooking up with friends to take on enemies. You know, it's kind of like Horde at times. Uh, for those of you who might be Gears of War fans, you know, enjoy it. And enjoy visiting the different worlds, the different space kiosks, socializing with others. This game has it all other than the few points I made earlier. And with that being said, you know, give the video a like if you liked it. If while you're there, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. As for now, I, this is Xbox Beyond the Box. I'm Dragon Dust. Hey, I'm out of here. Back to Space Battles, y'all.